Are you ready to learn how to make this in Canva? Let's go. This design, we're going to be in Canva and we'll select create design. And then from here, we're going to go onto Instagram post square. On this template, on the left-hand side of your screen, go to designs and enter in the word remind. You'll see a lot of different templates here. Find one that you love and that's the one we're going to use. Find something where you can change easily the coloring and imagery to match your branding. Once you've found one that you love and you've updated with your image and your coloring, from here, click on animate and then find an animation. It doesn't really matter which one you have, just select one and you're going to change the timing. It's gonna be defaulted at five. You wanna slide it down to 0.1 seconds. From that first page, duplicate the first page so it looks like there's actually two first pages. We're gonna remove one in just a second. You wanna be sure that the very first one has the animation and the second one, we are going to remove the animation for that one. From here, you'll click the duplicate page and you'll do this five times for five different pages. All you need to do at this point is update this text box right here in the middle, um, making sure you don't move the location of the text box and just updating it with five different things that you would like to be in the scroll. From here, let's go look at our grid view and we have our first page and then here's the duplicate of our first page, second, third, fourth. So highlight page two, three, four, five, and six by pressing your shift key and clicking. And now we're gonna duplicate those five pages until this six second mark up here changes to a little over 10 seconds. Let's go up to 11.1. .1. So now all of our pages have been duplicated and this very first one is an exact copy of the second one. So now we need to remove the complete animation First, let's preview everything. So let's click our preview. There, you can see how it just scrolls and scrolls and scrolls. That's exactly what you want. You'll notice there's just a little jump right in that very beginning because of that animation. So if we want to take that out, you can either download this now and save it as a file onto your computer as an MP4 file, or we can go back here into this animation. Let's go all the way back up to our very first slide. And if I take this one out completely, you'll notice my little player doesn't show up, so I can't preview it, but I can download and save this as an MP4 file onto my device. And when I open this up, if I press play, it works perfectly. And then all you need to do is give instructions to your audience to take a screenshot and do whatever it says to do. So make this applicable to your industry.